Hello, my name is Panayoti Karamanos. As a trumpet teacher, I've had many students come up to me with a lot of questions on how to clean the instrument. Today, I'll be doing just that, which is to show you how to clean your trumpet properly. You'll first want to start off with a nice clean workspace. As you can see, I've put a towel here. This is to make sure that everything is clearly visible and stays nice and clean. The first piece of equipment you'll need is your mouthpiece brush, your valve brush, your snake coil, your valve oil, your tuning slide oil, and or tuning slide grease. Cleaning your trumpet is a very delicate process. You will need parental supervision for this. If you don't have any of the brushes that are here on this table, you can go to your local music shop to purchase them there. What we want to do now is clear this table completely so that we can disassemble the instrument. Let's start off by removing our mouthpiece by twisting it off. Let's place it over here in this corner. Next, we're going to remove our tuning slide. I like to brace my hand up against the bell, get my thumb here and pull it off. By doing this, you're ensuring that the tuning slide doesn't get removed at a crooked angle. We place it over the corner. And the next thing to do is to press down on your first valve and to then remove this slide, which we're going to put it here with the others. The next step we're going to do is remove this little second valve. We're going to press down on our valve and pull this slide out. This may require some extra force. This slide here in the trumpet has a little safety lock on the end to make sure that it doesn't fall off as when students are playing, they can often forget to put their finger in the ring holder or their trumpet may not have a finger holder and, other, and it would fall out. So as you can see, this trumpet just has two little nuts. What you'll do is just unscrew them Remove any rubber safeguards, place them over here in the corner, again pressing down on the third slide closest to the bell and pulling out. However, most student trumpets now have a new mechanism. As you can see here, there is a little screw. What you will do is undo this screw. And again, pressing down that third valve closest to the bell, pull out. If you are met with resistance and you hear this clunk, that means you have not loosened it. So keep loosening. And it should just come straight out. Now that we've removed all the slides from the trumpet, it's time to move on to the valves. What you'll want to do is twist anti-clockwise and take out your valve be sure to place it on a very clean surface. So I'm going to place it just here on my towel. When placing them down, ensure that they are in the same order as when you took them out. We are almost complete. Underneath your trumpet, you'll have some caps which are very similar to your valves. They will twist off exactly the same way. If you've followed all these steps correctly, your trumpet should end up looking like this. Next, we're going to submerge the trumpet in water. Right here in front of me, I've got a storage tub from Officeworks. This is 52 litres. And what I've done is filled it up with enough water so that when I place my trumpet inside it, it's fully submerged. If you don't have a storage tub, you can also use a bathtub. So what I'm going to do now is simply place the trumpet in the water. So now that we've let the trumpet sit for a few minutes, we're going to now move it up and down in the water. After we've done that, we're going to let it sit for another five minutes. Now that five minutes have elapsed, it's time for us to get our brushes. We'll start off with our snake coil. What we want to do is get our instrument, get one end of the snake coil, and put it through the lead pipe. 
Now, at the other end, we should see some green stuff coming out of the trumpet. This green stuff is called verdigris. This occurs when brass is exposed to the atmosphere. And since we're blowing hot air into our instrument, this accelerates the process. So what I'm doing is just going up a few times and making sure that this verdigris has been cleaned out. After doing this, we're now going to dip it again in the water, up and down. One last time. And what I like to do is just double check by looking through the lead pipe. If it looks like a perfect circle, then it's clean. The next thing we want to do is get our snake coil again and go through the bottom half, the bottom pipe of the tuning slide. Again, push through, pushing in and out, submerging it in the water. in the water. Then we're going to put our pipe, our snake cleaner in these two pipes here. Because these are small pipes, we won't need to do it as much. And the same goes for these two pipes here. After we've done putting the snake coil through all the pipes, we're going to submerge the trumpet in water and allow it to sit for two minutes. The next step is to get our valve brush. What we're going to do is pick up our trumpet, let the water run, and we're going to put it through the valves. So I just get my brush, dip it in the water, and just go up and down a few times. Now it's very important that we keep the valve chamber, that's what this is called, nice and clean because our pistons, our valves, move up and down like pistons. And in order to move up and down, they need to have a very clean surface. One that is very consistent. So we're going to clean that. Good. Second valve. Once we've done that, we can now let the trumpet sit for an hour. The next step is to get the slides that we have taken out of our trumpet. So we're going to get our tuning slide. Once again, getting the snake coil, dipping the slide into the water, getting our snake coil and pushing it through. You may be met with some resistance as the snake coil tries to go around the crook. Once you're done cleaning the inside of the tuning slide, you then place it into the water. The next thing we're going to do is get our third slide and also the snake coil through it. Now this third slide is a bit different to a standard third slide in that I'm able to take it apart even further. Most student trumpets won't do this however. So what I'm going to do is get my snake coil and clean it up. Once you've cleaned it up, put it in. Same thing applies to here. Now depending on your snake coil, if you've got a metal one like I have got, it'll be very difficult, or actually it'll be almost impossible for you to go all the way through the slide. If you've got one of those rubber ones, it may be possible. So if you can't go all the way through, just go up and down a few times on each end. One more time, that's it. And once again, just placing it inside the tub. We've only got three pieces left. Our first slide, which we're going to dip in the water again, put our brush through it, brush through. Once we're done, place it in the water. And now we're going to get a smaller slide. This slide is the second valve. This one, you would have been met with the most resistance when trying to remove the slide. So we're just going to insert it. That's all we can manage and place it in the water. The next thing to do now is to clean our mouthpiece. What you want to do is first put your mouthpiece in hot water, not boiling water, just hot water, in a glass and let it sit there for five minutes first. After taking it out of the hot water, you'll then dip your mouthpiece brush into that hot water and then just insert it into the front. 
So I'm going to just emulate that now. And we're just going to go in as far as you can. Now, the mouthpiece brush will not go all the way. We're going to twist a few times. Then we're going to go from the bottom, twist a few times, and out. And as you can see, this has gone green from the amount of buildup on the inside of my mouthpiece. After I've done that with my mouthpiece, I can now put it in here as well. We then want to get the bottom caps on our trumpet that we removed to last and just give them a quick scrub down with anything. You can use your mouthpiece brush, your valve brush, it doesn't really matter. Anything that will clean it. And what we're going to do now is just let our trumpet sit there for an hour. Cleaning your valves can be one of the trickiest things to do. What we never want to do is put it in the water. If we do that, we'll cause the spring, which allows the valve to go up and down and allows the trumpet to play notes, it will seize up and rust. What we want to do is fill up the water to this point. So if this is the bottom, the water will fill up just to here. If the water touches the brass part, it will cause the spring to corrode and to seize up. So you'll want to put each valve in its own cup, like so, and then fill up the water just to this point here. Now that we've left our trumpet to sit for an hour, it's now time to take it out. So I'm going to take out the main body of the instrument first. I'm going to let it drain. And I'm going to place it on this towel. What I'm going to do now is get all the slides, drain them out, and place them on the towel. Same goes for every single bit that's in here. You can now discard the water. Now that we've taken out the trumpet, we're going to let it dry for two hours. Now that our trumpet is dry, we're going to reassemble it. To reassemble it, all we need to do is do everything we did to disassemble it in reverse. So we're going to start off with the bottom caps. You're going to place these on the trumpet as the trumpet's upside down and turn it clockwise. Before we put in our valves, we're going to put in our slides. So what I'm going to do is get my tuning slide. I get some tuning slide grease. Put my pinky finger in it. Grab a generous amount and apply it to the brass part of the slide, not the silver. So I'm going to put that on. What I'm going to do now is simply insert it. So hold the trumpet like this so that, you have a, so that you can see the length of the pipe and make sure to insert the bottom first slightly, rotate to the top and then just jiggle it in. Once it's in, feel free just to push it in. If there's any excess grease, just wipe it off with your finger. It will not harm the trumpet. What we're going to do now is get the same tuning slide grease and apply a tiny amount to the slide with the thumb hook. This was the slide that was closest to your mouthpiece. So we're going to do this, just apply a tiny amount on the actual slide, only on the brass part and onto the brass part of the instrument. We then just put it on. The same step applies for our baby slide. By putting grease on it regularly, this will prevent the little slide from, having, from being a problem when trying to remove it. The middle slide will now come out much easier. Our third slide is a lot different. We can't use the same tuning slide grease. So we have now, we're now done with this. What I like to use is Hetman Synthetic Slide Lubricant number four. This lubricant is not as thin as valve oil, meaning that it's not as runny, but it's nowhere near as thick as the tuning slide grease it's somewhere in between. So what we're going to do is apply it to our instrument. If you, if you, if you don't have access to Hetman lubricant number four, you can apply the valve oil. But just keep in mind, if you do apply valve oil, it will dry out quite a bit. It is infinitely better to use valve oil over grease 
for your third slide. So what we're going to do now is I'll just apply some, just like that. And then some on the trumpet. And then simply just slide it on. Now because my trumpet is a bit odd, I've got this extra bit to, bit to put on, so I'll just apply some grease to that. If you have this removable slide, you can also do the same. I'm going to apply that on now. Great. Our trumpet is on its way now to being complete. What I'm going to do now is get the same lock nuts that I've put on, that I took off, and put them back on. If your trumpet uses the other mechanism for preventing this third slide from falling off, just simply retighten it. Now that we've fully assembled the trumpet slides, it's now time to move on to the valves. What we want to make sure is that we grab the valve with the number one on it. All trumpets have a number one, two, and three on their valves, which correspond to valve number one being closest to the player, two being in the middle, and three being closest to the bell, or further away from the player. So what we want to do is get our valve oil and apply it onto the silver part of the valve. What we're then going to do is get the trumpet facing down, like this, ensuring that the slides are pointing up. We're then going to get the number one and have it face towards us. We then push it in. However, we don't just leave it like that. We push in further, further to the point where the spring wants to push back. So we push it in and then rotate right until we hear a click. So I'll do that again. We ensure the one is facing this way, the same direction as this slide here. We push in until we meet resistance, push in further, and then turn right until we hear a click. Once we've heard that click, it's locked into place, and then we can then tighten it. And all we need to do now is repeat the process for valve two and three. So this will just go into the center, facing up, push down against the resistance, twist, and then tighten the valve. Our final valve, we're going to do the exact same thing. Valve oil, push in, make sh making sure that three is pointing up, meet resistance, push against the resistance, turn right, hear the click, and then tighten it back down. And then the final step is to get our mouthpiece and put it in. And then now, all you need to do is test the trumpet by doing this. If your trumpet makes that nice airy sound, that means your trumpet's working fine. If you've put a valve in the wrong way, like I'm about to now, you'll feel a blockage when you try to play or blow into it. And if I was to try and play, so if you've got a blockage, that means you've put one of your valves in the wrong way. So unfortunately, there's no real method for trying to figure it out without actually just manually taking them out and making sure that they all go in the right way. And there you have it. Your trumpet is nice and clean now, and you can go off and play some trumpet.